Let's review a little geometry real quick. In this first problem, we have a figure here and it says, if angle two is equal to 59 degrees, what is the measure of angle one? All right, the sum of all the degrees in a triangle is 180. This mark right here means that angle is 90 degrees. So now you have 90 degrees to split between the other two. All right, if you subtract the 59 from 90, you get 31. So the measure of angle 31, or the measure of angle one is 31 degrees. All right, in this figure here, it says, what is the measure of angle one? All right, we see this figure again. That means that it's a right triangle. This is 90. Well, um, vertical angles, which is what this angle and number three are, those are congruent. So if this one is 90, this one is 90. All right, so within this little triangle, we just took 180 and we used the 90. All right, we understand that these two have to add up to be 90, but how can you tell what just one of them is? Well, since this side and this side are equal, you had a rule in geometry that said angles that are opposite of congruent sides are also congruent. So if angle one and angle two are equal, you can just divide the remaining 90 by two and that gives you 45 degrees for one and two.